I'm gonna say this first before we start the video. I mean this with no disrespect, but most people who disagree with what I'm about to say does not have weight All right, success. YouTube, I wanna talk to y'all about some of the main things that's holding you back from your weight loss journey, all right? Um, this is for people with serious inquiries only, people who want to get lean for the summer, people who are right now grabbing a pen and pad and are gonna write these things down, people who are also gonna click the two links that I'm gonna leave in the pinned comment. My workout routine and my diet routine that help me lose over 140 pounds and keep it off. All right. So if you want to be one of those people, welcome to the channel. This is Repetime Fitness. Like the like the video. Subscribe to the channel. All right. All right, YouTube. Let's talk about it. Uh, we're going to talk about embedding bad habits. All right. Um, the more that no, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. This is Repetime Fitness. All right. All right. The more that. You allow people to tell you that it's okay, you can skip this, you can skip that, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do that. And usually those people are people who don't even live the lifestyle that you're trying to live. So that's bad advice that you're taking from that person. No, none of us are perfect. Um, but every time that you say it's okay to mess up, you're embedding that. Like we are Americans, all right? We live in a country that has, I'm talking about fitness mostly, but this, this can apply to so many other things in your life. But what I'm trying to say is this. We have fast food here. We got refrigerators there. We stock our house up with things that we should not be eating every day. Um, things that I eat a lot all the time, but I eat it in moderation. I eat it in true moderation. A lot of people just say the word moderation and think it's moderation, but it's no, it's not. Moderation is not a magical word, all right? So that doesn't mean you can eat eight, 5,000 calories. Well, most people's meals are like 1500 calories all right you go to mcdonald's you go to wherever you go you mostly on average going to eat around about 1500 calories a meal and if you eat four of them a day that's 15 that's 30 that's 6,000 calories all right some people ain't eating four of those a day some people eat three of those a day that's 15 that's 30 that's 4500 all right that's 4500 calories all right for people that's only eating three high calorie meals a day 4,500 calories is way above what you should be eating every day, all right? Um, I know I dabble on foods. I, I eat, I got mukbangs, I got videos where I eat high calorie foods, low calorie foods, this and that third, but I balance them. That way I'm not way over my calories every day. Right now I'm eating about 2,300 calories on a cut, all right? Um, a couple months ago I was eating like 3,000 on a bulk. I'm bulking on way less calories than the average person who doesn't even lift is eating. I'm a muscular, grown man at 40 years old. I'll be 40 in August. And the average person, male or female, eats way more calories than me. Even though I show you dirty foods that I eat, that's why the level of leanness that I keep showing everybody, that's how I obtained it, is by counting my calories and adhering to the diet, all right? Um, and not making a diet too difficult for myself. That's why I sprinkle in some dirty foods. All right. That's why that way I'm not over craving. I'm not going to binge eat on foods that I'm craving because I cut them out like, like a light switch. You don't do that. You don't cut it out cold turkey. And I mean, some people can, I'm not, I'm, I'm speaking for the majority of the people when I'm speaking. All right. So what I'm trying to say is this. And also calories. The two main things that's gonna make you fall off of your diet is the fact that you're over craving because you cut out all your favorite foods, you cut out all the flavor out of your diet, all right? Um, a lot of people don't understand that you can substitute sauce with seasoning, all right? You cut the calories, you cut your calories in half just by cutting sauces out, all right? I'm not saying cut them out, but cut them down to moderation, just like high calorie drinks. I ain't saying cut them out, cut them down. You don't have to cut anything out, you can cut it down. Matter of fact, that's the title of this video. I'm about to go in. Cut them down, all right? Also, your calories. Everybody know you gotta cut your calories down to get into, everybody gotta know that you gotta cut your calories down. Everybody knows that you have to cut your calories down to lose weight, get in a caloric deficit. And for those who don't know that, now you know i'm telling you so you cut your calories too low now you're starving 
You cut your calories too low, now you're starving. You're not going to allow yourself to starve. So what's going to happen? You're going to eventually binge. You're going to eventually get up and won't be able to sit down without eating something. You're going to eventually get to the point where you can't stop. You can't drive your car without stopping at a gas station and getting the things that you're craving or the things because you're hungry. You can't smell food without eating it. How do I know these things? Because I've been there. I've failed my diet a lot of times before I came up with what I'm going to link below. Top 10 misconceptions about weight loss. All right. Um, that's just like cutting out things, cutting out carbs, cutting out meat, cutting out cutting out all these things. Like you're cutting things out just to try to lose weight. Forget about what the science say. Forget about who said who, who said what. If you've been following somebody's um, stuff to a T and it ain't been working, then you need to try something else. Listen to me. You, you, you pick math. Science does matter. I'm not saying it doesn't matter. But don't pick science over math. It's math over science, all right? Math over science, man. Calories in, calories out. How many calories are you taking in? How many calories are you burning? Because the calories that you take in that you don't burn is going to get stored. Stored is what? Adipose tissue, body fat. Your body stores the calories that it does not burn. That's where the body fat is coming from. And when you're in a caloric deficit, your body starts to use some of that body fat for fuel, for energy. Not just because you're on a keto diet and you're using ketones. and this, Your body's going to do that anyways. Just like fasting. Everybody want to do fasting because it has autophagy. Yo, that, your body's going to do that anyways. Anyways. I'm not saying don't do those things. I used to fast. I did great fasting. All right? Type in rapid time fitness fasting. If you want to find out how I did fasting and adhere to it, and I was the best faster in the world, in my opinion. Of course, I'm too small horn, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I realized I didn't need it, and I did better without it. All right, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying if it's not something that you plan on doing for the rest of your life, um, whatever your diet plan is, just imagine if you don't plan on doing it for the rest of your life, what's gonna happen when you stop doing it? Exactly. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Have a back at your boy. Peace. You cut your calories too low. Now you're starving. You cut your calories too low. Now you're starving. You're not going to allow yourself to starve. So what's going to happen? You're going to eventually binge. You're going to eventually get up and won't be able to sit down without eating something you're going to eventually get to the point where you can't stop you can't drive your car without stopping at a gas station and getting the things that you're craving or the things because you're hungry you can't smell food without eating it how do i know these things because i've been there i've failed my diet a lot of times before i came up with what i'm gonna link below top 10 misconceptions about weight loss all right um that's just like cutting out things cutting out carbs cutting out meat cutting out cutting out all these things like you're cutting things out just to try to lose weight forget about what the science say forget about who said who who said what if you've been following somebody's um stuff to a t and it ain't been working then you need to try something else listen to me you you, you pick math science does matter i'm not saying it doesn't matter but don't pick science over math it's math over science all right Math over science, man. Calories in, calories out. How many calories are you taking in? How many calories are you burning? Because the calories that you take in that you don't burn is going to get stored. Stored is what? Adipose tissue, body fat. Your body stores the calories that it does not burn. That's where the body fat is coming from. And when you're in a caloric deficit, your body starts to use some of that body fat for fuel for energy not just because you're on a keto diet and you're using ketones and this, your body's going to do that anyways just like fasting everybody want to do fasting because it has autophagy yo that your body's going to do that anyways anyways i'm not saying don't do those things i used to fast i did great fasting all right Type in rapid time fitness fasting. If you want to find out how I did fasting and adhere to it, and I was the best faster in the world, in my opinion. Of course, I'm too small horn, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I realized I didn't need it, and I did better without it. All right, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying if it's not something that you plan on doing for the rest of your life, um, whatever your diet plan is, just imagine if you don't plan on doing it for the rest of your life, what's gonna happen when you stop doing it? Exactly. Comment, like, subscribe, share. How about your boy? Peace.
All right, YouTube, let's talk about it. Uh, we're going to talk about embedding bad habits, all right? Um, the more that... No, like the video, subscribe to the channel. This is Rep Time Fitness, all right? All right, the more that you allow people to tell you that it's okay, you can skip this, you can skip that, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do that. And usually those people are people who don't even live the lifestyle that you're trying to live. So that's bad advice that you're taking from that person. No, none of us are perfect. Um, but every time that you say it's okay to mess up, you're embedding that. Like, we are Americans, all right? We live in a country that has, I'm talking about fitness mostly, but this, this can apply to so many other things in your life. But what I'm trying to say is this. We have fast food here. We got refrigerators there. We stock our house up with things that we should not be eating every day. Um, things that I eat a lot all the time, but I eat it in moderation. I eat it in true moderation. A lot of people just say the word moderation and think it's moderation, but it's no, it's not. Moderation is not a magical word, all right? So that doesn't mean you can eat eight, 5,000 calories. Well, most people's meals are like 1,500 calories, all right? You go to McDonald's, you go to wherever you go. You mostly, on average, gonna eat around about 1,500 calories a meal. And if you eat four of them a day, that's 15, that's 30, that's 6,000 calories. All right, some people ain't eating four of those a day. Some people eat three of those a day. That's 15, that's 30, that's 4,500, all right? That's 4,500 calories, all right? For people that's only eating three high-calorie meals a day, 4,500 calories is way above what you should be eating every day, all right? Um, I know I dabble on foods. I, I eat, I got mukbangs, I got videos where I eat high-calorie foods, low-calorie foods, this and that third, but I balance them that way i'm not way over my calories every day right now i'm eating about 2300 calories on a cut all right um, a couple months ago i was eating like 3000 on a bulk i'm bulking on way less calories than the average person who doesn't even lift is eating i'm a muscular grown man at 40 years old i'll be 40 in august and the average person male or female eats way more calories than me even though I show you dirty foods that I eat, that's why the level of leanness that I keep showing everybody, that's how I obtained it, is by counting my calories and adhering to the diet, all right? Um, and not making a diet too difficult for myself. That's why I sprinkle in some dirty foods, all right? That's why, that way I'm not over craving. I'm not going to binge eat on foods that I'm craving because I cut them out like like a light switch you don't do that you don't cut it out cold turkey and i mean some people can i'm not I'm, I'm speaking for the majority of the people when i'm speaking all right so what i'm trying to say is this and also calories the two main things that's going to make you fall off of your diet is the fact that you're over craving because you cut out all your favorite foods you cut out all the flavor out of your diet all right um a lot of people don't understand that you can substitute sauce with seasoning all right, you cut the calories, you cut your calories in half just by cutting sauces out. All right, I'm not saying cut them out, but cut them down to moderation, just like high calorie drinks. I ain't saying cut them out, cut them down. You don't have to cut anything out, you can cut it down. Matter of fact, that's the title of this video. I'm about to go in, cut them down. All right, also your calories. Everybody know you got to cut your calories down to get into everybody. Got to know that you got to cut your calories down. Everybody knows that you have to cut your calories down to lose weight, get in a caloric deficit. And for those who don't know that, now you know, I'm telling you. So 